Well, here is my repost trying to sell you my interceptor. This is model 3.2.2. The last time I had it uploaded, I think it was just model uh, Mark the Mark II. Uh, this is 3.2.2. I've taken all of the stock or all of the uh, mods off except mechanical Jeb. I'm going to leave Mac Jeb on it. I added a ladder. I realized I was missing my ladder before. I added some extra control services tucked away inside here. I like to keep them as hidden as possible, just because it's for space and you don't need them in space. They don't look they don't look that awesome in space. So now you see the the weight or the mass is 17 metric tons. That means with a single jet engine, it's a little bit uh, light on the thrust to weight ratio trying to get it into orbit. Yeah, any second now. We've got Bob flying. I'm not sure why. I, I just put Bob into an orbit around Lay's yesterday. He's still there. We do our t we can do our turn at 35 meters per second in this one. It does turn nicely. And the same profile as almost every other SSTO in existence. Pitch up to 45 right away. And because it's so heavy with a single engine, it slows down quite a bit, but it still has enough to keep it going. There we go. I don't like to fire the nuclear engines until I'm completely out of jet fuel. This, uh, With the number of air intakes I've got, I've got 12 intakes crammed into that little spot. Uh, with 12 intakes, I can get this to 40,000 or 41,000 meters before she runs out of jet fuel. And that's in a straight 45 degree shoot from from the runway to that max altitude of 40 kilometers before she runs out of fuel. Now, I could level off a little bit lower and pick up a little bit of extra speed, but I've done some testing over the past couple of days and I get a better uh, better in, uh, in, in zero gravity or in, in vacuum delta V if I just go straight up at 45 degrees right into orbit. As soon as my jet kicks out, fire up the nukes, and that'll get you there with the most delta V. Twenty six hundred was my my uh, my best shot so far. Two thousand six hundred delta V. Now, as you can see, we're coming up on twenty kilometers altitude, or just short of it. We're starting to really accelerate now, both horizontally and vertically. The engine is starting to pick up its thrust quite a bit. Everything over about uh, what is it, six thousand kilometer or six thousand meters is quite a bit less efficient. We're l about half efficiency with this engine now, but it's still way more efficient than these nuclear engines. If we stay on this angle, we will get to about eleven 1 hundred meters per second before we. Have to before we run out of jet fuel. Maybe slightly less than maybe a thousand, but that's okay because our vertical speed will be high enough that the nuclear engines will just punch us right out of the atmosphere. Just about to cross the twenty thousand meters now. You can see our vacuum delta V number going up every couple of seconds as we as we burn our jet fuel. Our vessel gets lighter and lighter makes us a little bit more efficient. We've gone up a couple hundred delta V already. Now we're starting to run low on air. We'll nose down a little bit. See if we can pick up the last little bit of uh, we burn up the last of that liquid fuel before we punch up the nuclear engines. Four more liters. Now my hotkeys are uh, two, it turns on the nuclear engines, one, well, t they're toggles. One is for the jet, two is for the nuclear engines. Oh, I, yeah, I'm losing too much vertical speed. So we'll just waste that on the nukes.
It's very simple to get this into orbit. Basically just make sure you're pointed in the right direction, press your buttons at the right time, and it does the work on its own. We'll go now. Yeah, and it's still got 2248 meters per second delta V left. I think my record for launching this was uh, 2350 or 2450, so not a whole lot better than that. Oh, we're on the dark side now, sorry. She's really, really nimble in space. I'm, I don't have acceleration on or anything, I don't have RCS on. It just likes to flip around. Yeah, we'll stop that and turn it the other way. There we go. Prograde, and we'll flip her over. Or we'll just stay disoriented. There we go. Take a look at our home from here. Yeah, this is our uh, this is the pride of my fleet currently. It's my favorite ship. Well, I wonder how I managed to get it so far out of line. I was doing very well until I completed that orbit. Oh well. If you like the ship, give it a download. I'll put the download in the uh, in the forum thread.